Hello everybody, my name is Garm Dayan. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Or at least a better day than I'm having. This thing has crashed like three times now. So, we're gonna do this super quick so that I don't run out of storage. So to put it simply, this will be part two of the Team Fortress 2 action figures uh, review. Unfortunately, I do realize it has been like almost a month now. Um, the reason for this is I've been waiting on a soldier figure that has not arrived yet. Half my order did, as you can see in that lovely poster there. Um, but we won't go into that, and so I'll just sort of try and get this review done as quick as possible so that you can spend more of your time actually playing the game or maybe buying these things. Now, a couple questions that have, uh, a couple people on Reddit have had, especially about uh, this sort of setup. First off, where do you get the Team Fortress 2 Monopoly? Which is right there, if you can't read. Um, I will leave an Amazon link in the description. If I remember, if not, someone remind me, please. Um, last time we were here, we decided to do Scout. Uh, Scout's right there. Um, and, and as well as the Blue Spy and Blue Engineer. Now, Blue Spy is here. Blue Engineer, as you can see, is uh, just right over here. Now, um, we're going to do Sniper and Medic. And we're going to do a lightning fast round with this. So I'll just show all three of these guys. I will go into why Spy is here, even though we've already done him. Um, so I'll move him to the side here, and let's start with Sniper real quick. First off, Sniper has been my second least favorite, so I'm just going to announce that now. I'll go into why. I love them all, but there are some glaring issues that I have to sort of go into. So let's start with the face, because this thing always, like, jerks out on me. Now, I should note that Sniper does have this quiver, so this is post-Spy uh, versus uh, Sniper. Sniper versus Spy. So he does not have the scar on his face, and of course, he doesn't have his signature glasses. I mean, they did it with Medic. Why can't they do it with Sniper, you know? So, a couple things. He's got a Sniper rifle. The um, little scope cover does open and close. I like to keep it open. You know, Sniper's already re uh, always ready. He's got his little bullets there. Fun fact, if you switch to the Sydney Sleeper in game, these things actually become darts for the Sydney Sleeper. And it's having a little bit of trouble focusing. Come on. Ah, oh, we won't worry about it. Um, overall, it's an okay figure. Like I said, nothing right to write home about. He's been my second least favorite. Um, just followed by Demo Man, because Demo Man was like one of the first, so, I mean... You can sort of understand why. Um, so his quiver is nice. I'd like to see if they came out with accessory packs, which will probably never happen. Um, and also he has a nice hat and a thousand yard snare, uh, stare. Um, and then he's got his little pouch there. Yeah, sniper rifle's nice. Missing the bolt on this side though. Either I got a gypped version or it just comes like this. And it's the only accessory that he comes with. No Kukari, no SMG, or Kukri or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, so, overall, a little bit of a disappointing figure. At least Demo Man came with all of his stuff. Um, and I will just point out, uh, here's the card, so that you can read it. If it will focus. Come on, thing. It's literally the only thing on screen. How are you not focusing on this? Alright, there we go. You can pause that there. Of course, Mick. Weird, real name. Um... Some of the guys on the wiki said that this isn't confirmed, um, so they can't know for sure. Uh, so we'll move on to Medic, which is a little bit more complex. Now Medic, I'll start with his uh, syringe gun here. He also comes with his bone saw, but it's in one of the engineer's toolboxes. And I, I went into why uh, a little bit, uh, why I store the extra figure stuff in there, because, well, really it's the only place to store it. Uh, so Medic's... A uh, little thing here spins. Uh, the syringes inside don't spin, just the little cylinder. It's free, free spinning. Really nice detail on that. And we'll get a close up of Medic's face here. It isn't as gypped as like the Red Spy, because everybody remembers the Red Spy, that like monstrosity of a face. No offense, Red Spy. Um, this, pretty good. Glasses, like I said, if Sniper doesn't have his glasses, why does Medic get his glasses and vice versa? Um, 
yeah, overall, Medic is nice. It's actually probably one of my favorite figures. Um, Medi Gun is beautiful. It's so well done. Um, everything does move on it. Um, if I could demonstrate it, I can't really with it holding it. But everything does move. And then the backpack. Now, my backpack is a little bit broken, but really, who cares? Um, I've seen some medics with their legs off. So, I mean, I got sort of, like, good on that. So, yeah, that's a thing. Um, there's his legs. Oh, also, Sniper's legs are pretty simple. Uh, cool pants, I guess. And the harness. Yeah, Medic, Medic is overall the best um, figure out of the out of the final line. The reason for this is he's got a lot more posability. He comes with all of his weapons, and he is just gorgeous to look at in comparison to some of them. Uh, Scout's also really really nice, and I showed Scout last time. Scout's been a great figure. Love that one as well. I should probably show you this as well. So yeah, you can go ahead and read that if you like. Now, I gotta go into a couple things before I do my final sort of consensus on the rest of uh, the line that I've sort of looked at. I will be going into the Soldier and Pyro once I pick one up, and I am, unless under certain circumstances like these two, and the Red Spy and Blue Spy here, um, because I just sort of found the blue versions, and I love playing Engineer, and I couldn't pass up a genuine Texas 10-gallon. Uh, um, oh, and I should note, uh, as I've said previous, all of these do come with free hats. They're attached to a card on the on the back of this thing here. Um, so, if you, if you want a genuine hat, um, right now the Medic, the Red Medic one is going for like super expensive. It's like three keys right now in comparison to the rest of them. Um, cause a lot of people found the blue spy and blue engineer at target. I, I mean, I did. So, I mean, that's something, um, and I have terrible luck when it comes to those things. Now, this being said, there was a problem. As you can see, spy's arm socket is a little bit wider on this arm than it is here. The reason for that is this arm snapped off. I tried to pose it like the red spy over there, you know, Mr. Janky face. Um, and it just snapped right off. Um, I had to super glue it back into place and I didn't do a very good job, but it, you know, it's my figure. I can do whatever I want with it, I guess. Um, I'm not planning to resell these anytime soon. So, you know, it, this is, this is my special one. Um, yeah, so Spy won't move much. His, his legs are super poseable. He's got like super limber knees. Um, he's actually one of the best ones to actually have sit, because, like, I tried to make Sniper sit, and even Scout sit, and, like, both of them wanted to, like, kill themselves, uh, before I could really do it. So, yeah, uh, and I haven't tried with Medic, because Medic's legs apparently have problems, so, yeah, not gonna attempt it. So, overall, what are my feelings about these? Um, I mean, I cared about them enough to do a, a video for them. And if I can get the camera to stop sliding, we might be able to talk about it. Maybe not. No, it's wanting to, like, topple over on me. Gotta love this new rigging equipment that I've never used. So, let's talk about it as a whole. Um, overall, I like the series. I like where it's headed. And I like the rewards you get from it. But there's glaring issues. There's some big glaring issues. Um, first of all, uh, some of the, the, they don't look game accurate. Let, let's, let's just get that out of the way. Some of them look really janky in the face or don't w look just quite right, um, compared to their video game counterparts. Now, all of NECA's products are hand painted from what I've been told. So, uh, yeah, there was a quality issue as well that even Valve knew about. I mean, the TF team straight up cut ties with, um, uh, with NECA over it, so, I mean, the only reason these ones are out is because so many people were complaining. We'll get, probably get the blue versions of the, uh, Scout, Sniper, and Medic, and then it'll probably be, just be done, because, I mean, they haven't really been shipping much out in the way of products anyways. Uh, I mean, we've gotten no workshop, but, you know, that, that's nor here nor there, so, um, 
Uh, to be fully honest, I think it was a good purchase on my end. I enjoy these guys. I like putting them in their little poses and that sort of thing. But if you have the choice of either getting this or like something else, like a spy crab or um, like what where the vinyl sandwiches were out, that sort of thing, you should go with something like that. The items that you get are way better. And um, to be fully honest, you know, having a plush, uh, a plush or a huge vinyl sandwich isn't as um, breakable as like figures. Um, now talking about just how I've gotten them in a row. Demo was my first, and you can see Demo just, like, right up there chilling. Demo was my first, and then it was, um, after that, I think, Heavy, then NG and Spy, and NG and Spy again, and then, uh, these final three being, um, Scout, Sniper, and Medic. Um, so through the years, I've, I've sort of noticed that, but again... If you're if you're looking to purchase something Team Fortress Two related, go with like the Monopoly or the soundtrack, or the um, or I don't know, upgrade something in your game. Get the pop vinyls. I mean, I still have them in box. They're super easy to come by. Uh, get a Balloonicorn plushie or get some of these like little like pocket mercs that you see. Like I have the golden one there and that sort of stuff. That sort of thing. Um, because in the end, you'll probably be more satisfied with them. Um, but if you're super hardcore, like I am, about, like, video game collectibles and stuff, you love that sort of stuff, I would totally suggest these. Um, so in closing remarks, um, I will be doing Pyro and Soldier when they come out, but... Or, well, not when they come out, but when I can get them. Um, and I'll leave a link again to the Monopoly, because everyone asks about the Monopoly. Now, I have a rare misprint edition, which, uh, instead of Australian Tariff, it just says Z, uh, Z, 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 T, so the Zoot. Uh, so that's my Zoot board. Now, Monopoly sent me another free board, so I could play the game as normal if I really wanted to. But I kind of keep it sealed, because no one ever wants to play Monopoly with me. Yeah, it's kind of depressing when you think about it. Um... I might be doing a giveaway here soon, depending on how I feel. I mean, my birthday's coming up, so I might get something new. And if I get something new, I might do a giveaway then. Uh, we'll probably have to hit a certain milestone for the channel. And this will be going up on Reddit. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. Uh, no one's been commenting on um, the YouTube videos, but people have been commenting on Reddit. Love you guys for it. Thank you so much. You guys showed me a lot of support, and I'd love to keep doing this if it's something that you guys enjoy. But again, your upvotes and your likes and your downvotes and your dislikes really show if I'm really taking my uh, uh, time in a good place, if you know what I mean. So thanks for listening in. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day, and uh, I'll see you around, and have a wonderful day.